What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here and today I'm gonna do another Inside the Mind with the theme of never give up, never back down because you might just surprise yourself. So in this game right here we got a ranked solos game. I think I'm elite 50% or so and I'll be honest I kind of scuffed this game quite a few times. I really messed up but I kept fighting and I quieted that stupid little voice in my head that says you're dead, you can't do this, you lost. And we'll talk about that in a bit, but basically, yeah, there are some times where I really messed up and uh, we pulled through though. We pulled through and got the dub. So just backing up here, we go classy courts. As I'm coming in, I see that this player is just slightly above me, which means that I have a better drop to this weapon right here. And this lodge right here is my favorite spot to drop at classy because it gives you a huge advantage because you have this whole building to loot. And if you can secure the building, then you have eyes on basically the rest of classy courts. So you can figure out what's going on. And generally there's a good amount of loot here. So uh, try to get this building yourself. And what I'm doing right here is I'm kind of doing some jukes. I'm trying to make it so this player doesn't think I'm going for this gun or like doesn't see the gun right so I kind of like juke left and then I go right back and it works because they land right behind me thinking oh I'll get that gun and then they realize oh he's going for the gun so now we jump in here and we use the warforge to clean it up and it's a nice easy kill so at this point I just need to get a decent loadout some shields in me and then I need to kind of secure a perimeter that's just generally the plan whenever I land here because if you can get this build into yourself then you're pretty well off so we've got a decent loadout now it's, it's probably about time to get up on that roof and secure the perimeter so now we're up here made a quick decision to go back to the gatekeeper because the frenzy is a little questionable these days at longer ranges now we're just scanning so we fall off the roof really quick accidentally get back on the roof as fast as we can and we're just taking a look to see where players are generally you'll hear gunshots and you'll be kind of figure out where players are so i'm just kind of scanning my environment figuring out where players are before i start looting again seeing if there's any easy limbs now here's a player out in the courtyard over here looking pretty easy i don't have a scope on my ar but uh that's all right we crouch down we start landing some shots we do 180 damage to this player and they decide to stand their ground and start fighting back, which honestly, in my head at this point, I was like, this player has aimbot because the confidence level is too high right there. If as soon as you get hit for over 100 damage, you should be getting into a sprint and find some cover. In my mind, they don't know if I have a scoped AR. I would shred them if I continued to shoot them with a scope, but I don't. So I can't land those shots I need to. But yeah, I hit them for 180 and they, they smelt me. Real quick, about 100 damage. And I'm just trying to keep eyes on them. And at this point, I don't like this player. There's a player with this skin that has dropped at my exact POI like two or three games in a row. This is on stream. So I think they might be a stream sniper. And at this point, I think they might also be cheating. So I'm kind of like over it. And I just want to get them out of my lobby if I can. So I, I, you know, I play with a little bit of like aggression here. <laughs> my emotions are running high. I died like three drops in a row <laughs> right before this to that player's skin. So I was just kind of like, dude, I'm so over this player. And they come right on back, which again, and is making me feel like, okay, this is a stream sniper. They jump right in on me and hit me quickly for a big pump there. Uh, almost 100 damage, I think. Yeah, almost 80 damage. So at this point, I'm like, dang, that little stupid voice in my head says, game over, bro. It's wraps. Just fight it out and just end this thing. You're dead. We hit him for 34, and now that got me down to 35 HP, and I'm kind of just like, ah, this player again. And honestly, in my mind, I'm saying this game's over. 23, this is not going anywhere. And then at this point, I'm like, wait, I got shockwaves. For some reason, I didn't realize because I was stressed out that I grabbed shockwaves right before this fight started. So we're going to hit a shockwave, throw the player away from us get some distance and now we go towards the parking lot and this is always my strategy with classic courts i always go to the parking lot when i'm in trouble because there's usually a car there and that's an exit if you watch my last video you know i talk about exits having exits in mind the parking lot is always a exit in mind for me because generally also people to the, my right right now there's nobody to my right there's nothing there except for this train station so it's very unlikely anyone is over here and so that's generally my exit now right here i'm again playing kind of with a little bit of emotion here and i really want to kill this player and I have a feeling that they're going to run at me in a straight line because that's just what people do when they get you hurt. 
out of cover. And I don't have a scope of my IR, and I don't have much health, so I really need to just play this safer. We hit another mini, because we just gotta get some health in us as best we can. And now we're gonna try to play this car with a jump shot. If you don't have the jump shot in your game, you really gotta incorporate it, because it is super useful for anything that is basically like head high. You can just jump up and take a shot. Unfortunately, this player is playing cover on me, and now I'm out of ammo. And they hit me again for another 50. They get in the car, and now we're doing this awkward car dance. And, uh, yeah, at this point, it's like, this is not looking good. <laughs> Missed another shot. This fight is totally scuffed. I'm not getting anywhere with this player. They hit me again, and now I'm down to 30 HP. And again, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to catch you in this kill lane right here. Maybe they'll be chasing after me in this open area, and this is my chance to eliminate them. To be honest, my thought process is a little bit deeper than just like, I don't like this player. If I can eliminate this player and I can remain in classy courts, that's really ideal. I really, really don't like getting super hurt, having basically no loot, and then spending the game like running around from POI to POI just to try to find some little bit of loot and not run into players because I know how those games go and I'd rather just get the game over with so in my mind we're not deep into the game let's just finish this now maybe we can turn this thing around and this player comes in and they kill each other turns out that player's name was aimbot 36089 which I think is kind of funny they don't I don't think they had aimbot to be honest because they're not hitting me the best but they were hitting me pretty good but the first time that they shot me I was like okay this guy's cheating but after that the shotgun shots weren't like absolutely crazy so now we got another player here who's trying to third party that fight and back to that same thought process right like I just don't want to leave this POI I've got what I need right there I know how much good loot is in classy I really don't want to leave let this player loot this whole place and then have me be in shambles the rest of the game and for ranked that's a thing right everyone like really is trying to get kills most players are you know Know, pretty aggressive a lot of players aren't and they'll just camp and you'll get caught off guard and you really need to have shockwaves or bunkers or whatever to kind of deal with those situations so being in shambles is really not ideal because you'll probably be in shambles the rest of the game if you don't have a decent start so i'm just trying to like either end it now start a new game or beat this player and take this whole poi and get some decent loot that's the whole thought process here and that's just how i play ranked personally I like to drop it fairly hot spots. I like to get some action. Now, what I'm doing right here is I am baiting this player out. So I'm basically playing stupid. I'm just sitting in this car and I want them to come out of cover because they're not leaving. They're just sitting right there behind this little half wall. And I'm just kind of trying to play stupid like, oh, which one's the gas? Which one's the break? I don't know. Just being a dummy, you know, trying to look dumb or just trying to get them to shoot at my car a little bit to come out. So they come out of cover and then I can catch them off guard. So now they're shooting at me. I'm like, great, I'll go to this bush, pull up behind it, and then we'll use this bush as concealment to catch them off guard. They have a shockwave. That was kind of surprising. But we hit some shots right there. Uh, actually kind of good that we don't have a scoped AR for once because using a scope here probably would have been a little tricky. But yeah, we tracked them pretty well. And boom, land it. And now we are so happy. <laughs> we got a scoped AR. We got a nice shotgun. We got an SMG. We got heals. Oh, it just turned everything around. So me not leaving the POI here. A lot of people say, bro, just leave. Play your life. But I'm kind of the opposite feeling. Like, it's just a game. I don't really care all that much if I die. I'll just jump into the next game. I'd much rather just have a good game from the start. That's my kind of feeling with ranked, at least. It's not like a cash cup or anything. It's not like you don't get another chance. <laughs> so I just play it out and uh, try to just get a good start. So now I don't have a cracked loadout by any means, but a gold sniper with a purple gatekeeper and a blue scoped AR, because the scoped ARs are so gosh darn hard to find this season. It's crazy. I really wish Epic would change that. Scoped AR is a massive W, in my opinion. I'm just kind of looking for players. That's also just how I play ranked. I didn't like to hunt. This player is not coming at me. They're driving away. So immediately I kind of get a feeling of what type of player this is, which makes me want to pursue. <laughs> and they're just going to go from one car to the next. They drop their car. My car has one wheel, so there's no way I'm catching up to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get a new car from that little machine there. And now I'm kind of just like looking for this player. I see their car parked right there, but I decide I'm not going to go over there. I want to go to this gas station because I thought there were shockwaves, but apparently the NPC is not there. They moved them with the last update. Also, someone blew up the gas station right here, uh, and I was just kind of wondering, like, what just happened? And now I'm thinking there's a player in this area. Couldn't find him, so we're just gonna continue to move on. No shockwaves there either, but we do see a radio tower pop, 
and we're gonna go for it. Now, I stay far away from these guards and that hill in particular, because if I go up to this hill, even with my car and I start shooting these, these guards and I kill them, a very good chance someone's at the top of the hill waiting for me to do that exact thing. Very classic, especially in ranked, for rats to just kind of hide by the antenna towers and just catch you while you're trying to put the key card in or whatever. So I'm just going to play my distance, see if I can eliminate these guards from afar and, uh, you know, get them downed. And then I don't have to worry about the guards and another player catching me off guard. So we're going to pull our car up to the top. We're not going straight for the key card. We're going to reload our weapons while sitting in the car because we have PTSD of getting headshot sniped and getting snuck up on. And then we're going to exit the car. We're going to grab the key card and then we're going to drive our car down here in case we need to go. If there's a rat in here or whatever, we can just jump in our car. No rats. Pretty surprising. So that's a W. And there's somebody showing up, though, trying to third party. So they come in. We're going to do a quick exit snipe. So, if you watch my car combat video, my advanced car combat, I think I call it, I go over this kind of stuff where you exit the vehicle really quick, take a shot, then get back in. Just take the shot. You might land it. If you land that shot, the whole fight changes, and you're probably winning it. Like, very good odds, right? So, me taking that shot changes this whole fight. Who knows what really would have happened if we got into a shotgun fight. But at this point, the player has 116 health off of him, and now I am fumbling. <laughs> I somehow quickly selected my shockwave. Uh to try to chase them because I'm going for a pickaxe thing where I start pickaxing and I enter the car and then you can continue to hold pickaxe and you can hit them if you look at them. That's the only way to do it is you have to be swinging your pickaxe as you enter the car. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to hit my shockwave. I select it for a second, then I go back to my sniper, shoot the ground like a dummy. And now we're trying to do the same thing. We're going to land into a slide. And <laughs> we fail again. We don't land into a slide. We're just fat fingering everything right now. And we're going after this car. We don't look ahead of us. And we land into a branch. <laughs> this chase is not going well for us right now. We look like an absolute dummy. But we're going to just uh, keep the pressure on as best we can. So we blow up their car, which is great. Now, I made the mistake earlier, but look ahead of you before you shockwave. Figure out where you want to go. I'm seeing cover and a bush right here, and then you shockwave towards it. Don't just throw a shockwave at your feet and hope for the best, because as you saw before, uh, what happens is you end up hitting a tree branch with your head because you didn't look up before, <laughs> right? So that's just a tip. And then uh, aim for a nice piece of cover or concealment and you'll be at an advantage in the fight. Now, I slide past it because I can see the player's going past, and that player is moving super weird. I'm really not even sure what's going on there. I can see him, like, freeze for a second. Something about this banana, I've seen this a lot with players that eat it. It's something weird happens with their movement. Like, it's not natural. There's some kind of... Something's breaking server-side, uh, and they just skip around. Like, even that was just really weird, right? Like, the player is on a forward trajectory, running fast, moving pretty far, pretty quickly, and just stops. Like, it's almost like they hit a wall right there. Like, look at this. They just stopped. Very odd. So, that really catches me off guard, that they just stopped and didn't continue their trajectory. And at that point, like, again, that little, like, stupid voice in my head says, oh my gosh, this player's winning this fight. You, you messed up, but it's like, no, 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 focus in, win this. Just focus in and win this. I honestly, I've had a problem with this, like, especially in Battle Royale where you have one life, right? The anxiety can get to you, and it's very easy to listen to that voice. And I'm trying to loot this as quick as I can without getting headshot sniped or shot, because already this is pretty sketchy being out here. I'm going to run for this bush and heal. But anyways, what I was saying about that voice is you got to figure out a way to quiet it. And I've gotten better over time about just telling that voice to shut up. I've got this. Even that, just shut up, focus. I've struggled with it. I'm sure a lot of people do. Now we're coming up here to buy shockwaves because I've learned that the shockwaves are actually up here as well. So we're buying shockwaves from her. My guard's up because I just don't trust this. So I'm, I'm not going to drink that shield pot out here. Decided to buy another stack. Again, I just don't trust like areas like this. I get really sketched out, especially in rain. The amount of rats, I like to just like look around. I like to have walls around me, especially <laughs> when I'm healing. So uh, yeah, don't chintz out and buy four shocks trying to save money. They will save your life, especially in ranked. Shocks are so good. They're so versatile that they are just pretty much the best thing to have in your inventory. They give you a second life a lot of times. Rolling up to this bunker and we're already a little sketched out. 
about bunkers and ranked. So we're going to test this corner because this is where everyone sits in bunkers. They're on a right shoulder peak waiting for you to come down this staircase. So we're going to throw a shockwave down there, test it. We did not get a hit. Normally you hear someone get thrown. That was pretty much an empty sound there. So, which in my mind is like, okay, cool. It's clear. No one's in the corner. Still going to come down sliding. And boy, oh boy. <laughs> the rats never cease to amaze me in ranked. Not a single sound. Not a footstep. Nothing. Sitting in the corner. Coming out. Now I'm full jump scared right here. Swinging my pickaxe. But... Never give up. Never back down. Don't give up on the fight. You will surprise yourself. Here we go. So now we're shocking out. 80 HP. This player has got us very hurt. And I'm now becoming very appreciative of those two extra shocks I purchased. I tried to turn around really quick and watch this player follow me so that I could tag them as they're coming in. But they were just right on my butt. Like, they were right on me. And uh, yeah, so they knew exactly where I was. This is not going well. So notice what I do right here. I could have thrown the shockwave. I could have sprinted out and thrown the shockwave, but instead I sprint towards the player and throw the shockwave. Now, the reason for that is you will hit them with the shockwave as well, and then they won't be able to laser you out of the air as you get away. If I didn't throw the shockwave in like a forward trajectory towards the player, I die right here. 100%. The player's just gonna be right here. They're gonna laser me. They hit me with one bullet and I die. But instead, I ran a little bit towards them through the shockwave and that's gonna throw them out as well. And now I have a chance. And boy, oh boy, are we glad we bought six shockwaves. So now, a lot of players also right here would probably go down to the bunker and start healing up and kind of just holding that same right shoulder peak. But boy, do I hate rats and I would love to punish them. <laughs> so I decide, you know what? I'm going to catch this player in a kill lane or a kill zone. So I instantly go here. I start drinking shields, but I'm keeping my eyes on them because I want to catch them coming up this hill. Because I know there's no cover coming up this hill. It's a terrible place to be. And they're just jogging up it, reloading their weapons, which is exactly what I want. Catch him in a sprint with her weapon out, with her, with no weapon out, and turn the fight around. So, didn't give up. And, uh, yeah. Again, I think a lot of players, when they get down into this bunker, would just say, that's wraps. But this is why you gotta keep fighting things out, right? You will surprise yourself. Just keep playing it out, see what you can do. A lot of times you'll come out on top and uh, yeah. We take out that player, we get full heals from them. They drop all the loot in the world because they had looted the bunker. We got full heals now. <laughs> Somebody redeemed a sound clip that says, Boss, you killed a child. <laughs> that was very appropriate. Now we got bunks. We don't have any mobilities because we just burned all our shocks. So now I'm thinking about resupplying and uh, we're going to go ahead and drive over here. On my way over here, I remember this. I see that? That's a player right there. So I see that player running over there. And I'm thinking, okay, well, we got someone over here. Got Storm on our back. We just need to get this over with quick. So I come up here and uh, we look for this player for far too long. I'm just sketched out the whole time. I'm just staying in my car hoping they'll shoot at me. They don't, which is just blowing my mind. I'm still going to eat this banana and just try to move as quick as I can. Get on this roof. Check this bush, I believe. Just looking for any movement, checking the bush, trying to move quick, nothing. This goes on for far too long. <laughs> you know, I check all these corners, I check the, the mountain, I end up throwing down a bunker to buy these shocks because I just do not trust rats, and you know why. <laughs> you know, that last engagement, this is why I really don't like playing ranked very much because people are so weird when they play it. But, you know, waste a lot of time right now, though, because we're in high anxiety, which is unfortunate. Maybe sometimes it's better to just buy the thing and face the consequences because now we got Storm on our butt. We're coming in late to zone, and it's not great. We got three medallions in front of us at zone. This is very common. The idea is that basically all these players are sitting at the edge of zone waiting for other players to move in or they're getting held by other players that are kind of at the edge. So ideally rotate to zone early. Try to get more towards the center or the dead side so you don't have to deal with this stuff. But I'm showing up late and now it's a big problem. Got a lot of players in front of us and players rotating in as well. I'm sure, so we're just kind of looking, scanning. We gotta figure out our path of how we wanna get to zone. See someone, see someone driving my car? I never got in that car, but they have like the exact same car as me, which makes me think maybe it's a stream sniper. Someone gets cracked to my left. P1 
people showing up late to zone. Steals my car. No one touches my car and lives, so... Now we see two pairs of footsteps. We know that the other player ran off over here. This player just got out of my car and they're trying to get into this building. And I'm thinking, let's jump in, finish this fight as quick as we can, because I know how much danger is around me. And if I just sit out here, I wanted this fight over with ASAP. I want to try to get their loot and get out. So that was really weird. Players in this room, shockwaves. And there's no audio of him leaving the ground, flying through the air, and I can't see them. So I'm thinking, weird. They must still be up here. I heard a little reload right there, and now I'm like, okay. Yeah, they're not gone. They're right here. You can hear, listen. Hear that. Ch -ch. Yeah, so that's a reload. That makes me instantly know that the player's over here. I don't know how they did that. Like, I think that's the trick where, like, if you throw a shockwave at, like, a particular top corner, it doesn't throw you all through the wall. I know it's, like, a move that people do in builds sometimes. But, yeah, I don't know how that guy did it. Probably did not mean to do it and kind of unfortunate for him. But either way, he would have been in the storm. So now we got players around us, and I'm just trying to figure out how to do this next rotate because I only have three shockwaves, and we got a max pull, and it's not looking good. I haven't been able to put forecast to use at all this whole time because I'm just always behind zone. And this is why it's so important to move because everyone's holding each other at the storm line, and basically we have to wait for everyone else to move before we can move because if we try to move right now, we're going to jump in the middle, and we're going to get shot in the back and shot from the people that are holding at the next line so this is a problem and we're trying to figure it out and I'm looking at players ahead of me thinking maybe I can clear a path if this player is right here maybe if I eliminate them I can go that direction because there's no one near them and now I'm thinking let's grief this player a bit so that they become the target and now I can kind of follow them out ideally if you're like rotating out of zone it's good to grief other players get them hurt so that they have to do crazy things, put themselves in bad spots, get shot by other players, and you're not the main target. So you can see people love shooting at cars. It's a big old target, really easy to hit. Everyone loves to shoot at cars when they're in a good position. So everyone's gonna shoot this car. I'm gonna shoot at this car to try to blow this player up so that they can be the target and not me. So I'm gonna get shoot a couple times, then I'm like, ah, no, I'm sitting out in the open for too long. We're gonna shockwave out. Keep eyes on this player that went over there. You can see I am landing into a slide out of my shockwave and looking backwards this is something that i really really encourage you guys to learn if you aren't if you don't know how to skate or do slide jumps like this watch my apm video i go over it a lot there but it really helps for scanning your environment knowing what's going on around you so now i know there's a player over here i know that like this whole area is kind of like no go i need to get into zone i see this bush and i hear gunshots and i'm thinking okay we slide Keep sliding, reload our stuff while we're sliding. Again, that skating technique is really helpful. Notice that I saved my shockwave. A lot of people would burn this next shockwave right here. They'd burn all their utility. As they come up, they just burn another shockwave to get up to the top of the hill. I'm not going to do that. You want to save your utility, your last of your utility for when you really need it. I don't really need it yet, and I might really need it by the time I get up to the top of this hill. Somebody could be in this bush. It's pretty likely. But we're going to try to hoof it on foot. See if we can catch him off guard. Because this is a great spot to be right now. So I get a nice, easy third-party kill right there. And now this player is jumping at me with a Zeus medallion and a Frenzy shotgun. And I am out. So this is why it's good that we saved our shockwave. Because, again, if I didn't, I would be dead. Now, right there, a lot of players might chalk that up to nothing special, but this is something that I know about sliding and visual audio is basically there is a 15 or 16 meter radius of visual audio for footsteps. When people are just running around or walking, you can see that from about 16 to 20 meters away. Now, if you enter a slide before that radius starts outside of 16 or 20 meters and you slide in with any speed, you do not show up on visual audio. So I hit the slide and I know there's a player over here and I'm just going to stay in the slide. I'm not going to jump or do anything because I don't want to be caught. So I'm going to maintain this slide because I'm off visual and that's kind of my only hope right now. I'm too hurt. Nothing's going well for me. And because we kept the slide going, we didn't jump or do anything like that. Boom. 
caught him off guard. So knowledge is power. Glad I made that visual audio video because it paid off right here. And boom. Get an absolute W of a kill right here. The man had two medallions for us. He has heals. It's just like, that's exactly what we need. Now we're back in the game. We got the Cerberus medallion, the agility medallion, which is amazing. It has the dashes and that's definitely gonna come into play here. If you can get that medallion in your inventory, you have a much better chance of winning the game, but it's a dangerous one to go for. So now we're trying to figure out our next rotate. Again, a max pull. It's just been like that whole game. And we got a player in front of us and I know there's a player inside a lavish to my right. And I'm thinking, I need Need to get to zone immediately because this whole game we've been behind and so i'm thinking yeah let's let's figure out a way we got the dash looking straight up in the air sprint dashing sprint jump dash gets you as far and as fast as possible and we're going straight for this little shack we get sniped in the butt as we go around the corner but yeah because we're getting out early i'm happy about this that i decided to leave early before storm really came in because getting to zone early was something that i was struggling with all game and uh it really helps so now we got the shack to ourselves we got four walls around us which is amazing must be nice to be a builds player because in zero builds it's very 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 rare to feel this safe I'm feeling pretty safe right now even though i got sniped now i'm just looking for the player through this window Land a little body shot. And I'm immediately thinking that player has the best spot in zone. I just heard somebody die. This is end game. There's three players left now, two others. Just hit that for 120. They're in the best spot in the game. If I can get to that spot, take it from them. I have a very good chance of winning this. So it's go time. We're shockwaving, even though we're not super healthy or anything. And boom, there's that little voice. I remember it again. I remember this moment and I was like, I had a subconscious thought that said, wow, you lost this. You sold it. Player has a Zeus medallion. They just outplayed you. And then I said, shut up, focus in, hit your shots, win this. And I don't know if I could have done that like a year ago, to be honest. Like, I think I might freeze up and just choke right here. Like, I would just call it right now when this player is above my head and just hit me for over 80 damage, whatever it was, I might just call it. <laughs> but I'm better now at this. And I say, focus in, do what you can. And boom, we focus in right there. They get into a nice little trajectory for us. Makes it very easy for us. If you have the Zeus medallion, you want to stay near people. Because if you give yourself distance, it makes it easier to track the trajectory in the air. And we hit them for a nice 100 damage. Uh, so that really helped us out. And we have the Hades medallion, which just healed us. So now we're pretty much ready for a fight. Now notice I'm not sticking around, looting or anything. I'm getting up to this bush <laughs> immediately because that's the best spot to be at the top of this hill. And now I'm looking for that player. I see the player coming into zone. And I know this is not good for them. They're probably very hurt. This is at least a 10 tick. Hit them for 35, but I don't care. I'm going in immediately. I don't want to give this player any time to think about how to play this against me, how to set up or anything like that. We're just pushing in, dashing, and boom. Because I had a very good idea that they're already hurt from Storm, and I just want to keep them reeling, you know, keep them on their heels. I'm just pushing straight in. Don't give them any time to think, and boom. That's the game. So uh, I hope this was helpful. I can never really tell for sure if this is helpful or not. I just try to break down my thoughts. I think there's there's always stuff to learn for a lot of players. Like you know, when I watch other people break down stuff, I learn a lot. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like on the video. It, <laughs> look how small he was, man. I gotta redo this with Ryu, grown up. He's a little more grown up now. He's much bigger. Gotta do another windscreen. He's gonna, when he grows up, he's gonna love this. His progression, our celebrations together. That's my son, by the way. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please leave a like on the video. If you wanna help support me and my family, please use code TobyWanShinobi in your Fortnite item shop. If you are new to my channel, I highly encourage you to go to my channel, go to my must watch zero build playlist, watch that thing. I promise you will not regret it. And I guarantee you, you'll subscribe to the channel after that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.